algebraic point set surfaces define a manifold from an oriented point set using a projection operator. Given the location in space, weights are computed over the entire input point set. These weights are then used to fit algebraic sphere to the point set onto which the evaluated point is projected. When performed from all points in space, one can obtain a new point set that sample the surface. Alternatively, an implicit surface can be trivially derived from the projection operator, allowing for easy contouring. For each projection, the global approach involves the whole input point set, leading to a complexity which is linear in the input size. Consequently, only the k-nearest neighbors are usually considered, which is fast but not robust. This also mandates the use of simple narrow kernels, while real-life data often requires more complex kernels with large support. In this paper, we propose a fast, robust and provably smooth alternative. Our method is suitable for interactive smooth surface modeling with arbitrary kernels. We start by building an octree on the input point set that we then traverse bottom up to aggregate sphere fitting statistics at each node. Given the projection location, we visit nodes that are close to it. Aggregating the statistics of all traversed nodes. We use the resulting statistics to fit a sphere before projecting on it. Overall, our method is driven by individual points when close to the surface, and approximations when farther away. When traversing the octree, one can use a simple bounding sphere to determine whether to visit children or not. However, this yield a non-continuous surface. To prevent this from happening, we introduce a hierarchical transition function. We use it to blend the node statistics with the statistics of its children depending on their respective position within the transition region. Note that this interpolation is recursive. The resulting surface is smooth, without any discontinuity. We also tackle the problem of discovering the final surface. Given this input point set, one could simply sample points around it. Before projecting them, the result here is far from complete, with many holes in the output. Furthermore, sampling the input octree is insufficient, as it often does not enclose the modeled surface. Instead, we propose an efficient strategy to determine the spatial extent of the surface. Starting from the root of the octree, we alternate projections and subdivisions. We project nodes by projecting their centers and retrieving the nodes at the resulting locations. We subdivide the projected nodes. When the projected node lies outside the start at depth zero, we restart the whole process. As a result, we cover all regions containing the surface, now, by simply sampling all nodes. And projecting the samples, we capture the modeled surface even in regions of the space with no samples. Here, we compare our results, in blue, with a typical local approximation using 20 nearest neighbors, in red, and a global. Ground truth a PSS, in green. We show the average time required to project one point onto the surface, in microseconds. Using a local approximation is fast but not robust, leaving many holes, whereas using global APSS is robust but completely prohibitive in terms of computational cost. In contrast, 
Our method is both fast and robust, being orders of magnitude faster than global APSS while exhibiting similar quality. Our framework allows to control the weighting kernel properties to alter the final surface, up to scales that cannot be reasonably reached with previous methods. By varying the size of the kernel, one can for instance achieve continuous filtering of the input point set. Here we use a multi-Gaussians kernel. Here we vary the epsilon parameter of a rational kernel.